Hello, and welcome to the CO 119 Safety, Mobility, and Bikeway Project Update online presentation. The Colorado Department of Transportation, referred to as CDOT, the Regional Transportation District, referred to as RTD, and Boulder County are excited to share the improvements coming to CO 119 that will make traveling through the corridor safer for all modes as well as faster and more reliable for public transit. This video is specifically for the unsignalized intersection improvements. If you want a general project update, you could watch the general project update video on the website. Once you're done watching this video, be sure to provide your questions and comments using the comment form linked on the website. Let's get started. Along CO 119 between Boulder and Longmont, there are five unsignalized at-grade intersections. These intersections experience higher than average crash incidents and pose a significant safety threat. As part of the CO 119 Safety, Mobility, and Bikeway project, the project team has analyzed solutions to improve four of the unsignalized intersections. Crash data between the time frame of 2015 to 2019 was analyzed for these five locations. It was identified that four of the unsignalized intersections experience higher than expected incidents, with T-bone crashes, also referred to as broadsides, being the most common type of incident. Notably, the 55th Street intersection was subject to several incidents categorized as severe, including one fatality, while Monarch Road was subject to numerous broadside incidents resulting in injury. There is a critical need to modify these unsignalized intersections to improve safety. 55th Street, at both northbound and southbound directions of CO 119, poses safety concerns. Broadside crashes are the most common type of incident at this intersection, which is a direct result of vehicles from 55th Street attempting to cross CO 119. The team identified that the design solution should address both directions of travel, as well as minimize or eliminate vehicles crossing CO 119, which carries high-speed traffic. A right-in, right-out-only scenario was assessed and ultimately is recommended, which would adequately address the two main concerns. The downside to this solution is it would remove some access to CO 119. However, this concern was found to be mitigated due to the proximity to signalized intersections at J Road and 63rd Street that can be used as a safe turnaround point. Adjacent intersections are roughly 1.5 miles northbound and 0.5 miles southbound from 55th Street. In addition, consideration was given to bike and pedestrian mobility, given a primary goal of the project is to improve safety and mobility for these modes. The right-in, right-out solution would allow CDOT to discontinue vehicle use of the CO-119 crossover and create a continuous bikeway within the median of CO-119. Monarch Road has the same challenges as 55th Street. Both northbound and southbound directions of CO-119 pose safety concerns. Broadside crashes are the most common type of incident at this intersection, which is a direct result of vehicles from Monarch Road attempting to cross CO-119. The team identified that the design solution should address both directions of travel, as well as minimize or eliminate vehicles crossing CO-119, which carries high-speed traffic. Very similar to 55th Street, a right-in, right-out-only scenario was assessed and is recommended as it adequately addresses the two main concerns. The downside of removing certain access to CO 119 is effectively mitigated due to the proximity to signalized intersections both upstream and downstream. Signalized intersections can be used as safe points to turn around. Adjacent intersections are 0.45 miles and 0.65 miles in either direction, resulting in minimal extra travel distance. Lastly, the right-in, right-out solution would allow CDOT to discontinue vehicle use of the CO-119 crossover and create a continuous bikeway within the median of CO-119. At the split intersections of Oxford Road and 83rd Street, the scenarios assessed were quite different and unique. The data range used for the analysis was 2015 to 2019. However, more recently there is a fatality at this intersection. Oxford Road and CO 119 experienced far less incidents and only one broadside crash. 83rd Street, however, experienced higher than average incidents, with the majority being broadside hits. Specifically, the movement from 83rd Street crossing northbound CO 119 
accounted for more than 75% of the incidents. The team identified signing improvements at the intersection and turn lane improvements approaching the intersection to help reduce these incidents. The improvements assessed at this intersection were tailored to and more limited based on the unique geometry of this split intersection, with the main concern being the 83rd Street crossing movement of northbound CO119. An effective and simple solution is to install a stop sign with flashing lights at the stop bar on 83rd Street at the median approach to northbound CO119. Albeit simple, this would directly address the key concerns. At Fordham Street, the majority of all incidents were broadside hits involving vehicles on Fordham traveling westbound, either crossing or entering onto CO119. Northbound CO119 experienced very few incidents and is not a critical concern. The team identified that the improvements should address the problematic movement of westbound Fordham Street, crossing or entering southbound CO119 from the median. During the assessment of the Fordham Street intersection, it became clear that the double westbound lanes along Fordham Street in the median of CO119 were problematic as they create sight distance obstacles for those turning onto or crossing southbound CO119. A solution to this problem is to stripe out discontinue use for one of the two lanes and install a stop sign with flashing lights at the stop bar of the westbound median approach to CO119. This location should be monitored to determine the effectiveness of this solution. If needed, an ultimate solution coordinated with the bikeway can be implemented. Thank you for your participation in the CO119 Safety, Mobility, and Bikeway project. Take a look at the other videos on the website to get more details on the project and the Niwa underpass. If you have comments or questions, please fill out the comment form linked on the website.